Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Dan from DHTV and today I'm going to be showing you how to use your iPhone as an Apple TV remote. Let's get started. Now before we begin using the iPhone as an Apple TV remote, you're going to need to ensure that it is enabled. So you can pull down the control center here and if you scroll down just a bit, you should see the Apple TV remote appear at the bottom. If it appears here, you can just tap on it and it's going to open the remote for you. If you don't see it in the control center, you're going to want to open your settings application right here. And then you're going to want to scroll down to where it says control center. From here, you can add all of the controls to the main area in the control center. So we have Apple TV here, but if we didn't, it would appear at the bottom here and we would just have to find it where it is right here, tap the plus, and it would add it to our included controls. Once it's added there, pull down to bring up your control center, scroll up just a bit, tap the remote, and now you have your Apple TV remote. Now, in order for this to work correctly, make sure that the proper Apple TV is selected from when you set up your Apple TV at the top. Mine is, but if it's not, just tap on it, select the one that it's being used, and you'll get prompted on your TV screen to enter in a four digit number. Enter that in on your phone, and then the Apple TV remote on your iPhone is now active and can be used. Now, if everything was set up correctly, the Apple TV remote on your phone is going to act very similar to the previous generation Apple TV. The middle area is going to act as a touchpad where you can navigate across the screen, up and down, side to side. Anything you want to access, you can just tap on it. It'll open it up for you. You can use your menu buttons in the middle to take you back to your main menu. You have your Apple TV button here, which will open the Apple TV app by itself. You have your pause, play, you have Siri right here, and then you even have a search button, which will just take you automatically to a search on screen. You can search for anything you want. So it's pretty simple, not too much to it. If you want to access any features like, for example, holding on the Apple TV app, you'll see that the sleep, not playing, game room, sort of like your notification or control center on the Apple TV will pop up. If you double tap on your menu button, it'll bring up your screen savers, those live screen savers you have set up. So it works exactly the same as it did before with the older generation Apple TV remote. So that is it. That's how you set up your iPhone as a remote for your Apple TV. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments below. I'm happy to help you out. Also, don't forget to click the link in the description for the full playlist of Apple TV tips, tricks, and tutorial videos so you can learn how to do everything with your new 4K Apple TV. Also, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, click the bell notification box to be notified when I post new videos. And as always, I will see you in the next one.